So I'm in Kabul at the moment and I'm wearing, I thought I'd just show you what we have to wear as women nowadays. I'm going to remove it now you can see it, but we have to wear the black niqab and cover ourselves completely. That's the new Afghanistan. Um, I mean, it's kind of heartbreaking to be here. I've been coming here since 1988. Um, through all the different conflicts and stages of war, the Russian withdrawal, the Mujahideen fighting each other, the Taliban the first time, then the last 20 years. And, you know, being in Kabul 20 years ago when the Mujahid, the Taliban were toppled and it really felt like a happy ending that um, this was a whole new future for <laughs> Afghanistan. It feels completely opposite. I cannot think of anything else I've ever covered in my life that's like this, the way that hope has just been destroyed overnight. This is a very different country to when the Taliban took over before, when Afghanistan was very isolated from the world. Now, this is a country where um, majority of people have smartphones, uh, hundreds of thousands of people have been educated, they've had lots of interaction with the outside world. Um, and it's a very, very different country. Today, I was at the state broadcaster, the Afghan radio and TV, um, and they're all sitting there terrified. They, they had 50 presenters, of which more than half were women. Of course, none of the women now can come to work. Their programming, apart from news, is all Islamic programming. Um, and they said they were absolutely terrified because they feel like they were the voice because they're the state broadcaster. They were the voice of the last governments and did lots of anti-Taliban reporting. And all of a sudden they are now their bosses at the Taliban. Um, and they've no idea what's going to happen to them. And that's the thing. There's so much uncertainty. 